of geoinformatics at the same university, and his, re his research has an emphasis in the area of cartography and GIS. So I will add Kaya to the live stream. Um, just... Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Uh, okay. Um, I can chat. There we go. Okay. Okay, looks good. <laughs> well, um, hi, my name is Kyle. Um, first, I would like to say uh, this is my first presentation in English and uh, my English is not very good. Um, I will try to speak slowly. Uh, well, um, update the reference maps is the focus of uh, research uh, on, the, on the use of voluntary geographic information in countries with depth of spatial data. However, to However, to collaborative data, we need to know the quality. Okay, must uh, researchers use the comparative metrics for this purpose? They compare collaborative data with um, official data considered to be more uh, reliable. If, if the lack of official data causes the search of collaborative data, then classic approach ensure the quality of the spatial data based on comparative metric is not, um, is not adequate. Uh, lack of official data is more common in Developed countries, developed countries in Brazil, for example, only five percent of the territory has reference mapping on the scale on for twenty five thousand, and the large scale, the the numbers are worse. As classic metrics needs the existence of the reference data. Then uh, the study of intrinsic parameters propose alternatives to, to classic methods. Among these intrinsic parameters is the collective special intelligence. The collective special intelligence is the ability uh, a group of people to generate uh, reliable special data the, for some of the experiences and the individual knowledge of the group members. Uh, for the, the precursors of this line of thinking, the more a place is added, the greater the quality of uh, the information in the place. To collaborate with um, related research, we develop an application to mensure collective special intelligence in different areas. To this, we, uh, defin uh, we defined two variables to represent two collective special intelligence. These variables, is, uh, these variables are uh, indirectly, indirectly pre present in the history of elements mapped on the OpenStreetMap platform and um, correspond to number of uh, collaborators of, uh, who worked in, in a given area 
in the number of uh, editions carry out in it. Uh, to get these values, we create a script in Python language with KGIS software. In KGIS, the user load the layers with the OpenStreetMap data and the geographic division necessary for their analysis. The first task performed by the application is read the OpenStreetMap layers. For this, the user loading KGIS, the OpenStreetMap elements of the region to be investigated. When this task is complete, the script uh, access, accesses the elements attributes to retrieve the identifiers of each one. Uh, in response, in response, a, a list of uh, street map identifiers is generated. This list is the input for the request process. Along with the history of uh, elements on the OpenStreetMap platform, after the script access the OpenStreetMap API and uh, get that added history. Data search as the name of the user who made the change and uh, the change data. Are, uh, um, are um, available uh, in this history. Uh, after the, the query, the process retrieves the element history, counting the number of collaboration, collaborators who work at in, in each geographic units and uh, the number of uh, edits on them. Next, the sum of the values is associated with the area limits entered by the user. A element in reality, um, a element in reality can can belong on, um, to one or, or, or more areas. This situation is, uh, is recurrent, especially with uh, system, uh, with road system elements. As the application intends, uh, as the application intends, to mensure the collective special intelligence for our uh, for area, uh, linking the same elements to more than one area uh, cannot occur. To solve uh, to solve this, the application divides the number of collaborations in an element by the number of geographic units that uh, intersect with it, obtaining a weighted number by intersection. Uh, an internal function of the KGIS processing module is used to carry out the count of values. This function joins and uh, summarizes information from a layer 
to a base layer uh, condition by a special relationship. The special condition for summarize uh, summarization is the intersection between um, layer and uh, and the base layer. With this, the process information is transferred to the layer loaded by the user. The main result. Um, I'm not sure if it's me or Kaya, but I think he might be frozen. Um, so I will try and find out what's going on. I'm so sorry for this. Um, I'll try and get back to you. To, we'll try and get Kyle back. Sorry. 